everybody, welcome back to Brain Muffin on Science. And here we have a cross between pop culture and science, I guess you could say, uh, because I'm going to be saying that it uh, looks like they finally found Jar Jar Abrams' mystery box in Tutankhamun's tomb. And this box has finally been opened. This is Egypt bombshell. Remarkable. This is express, express.co.uk over there across the pond because, you know, the American media can't cover nothing unless it's impeached Trump. So an Egypt historian, Egyptian historian, maybe an Egypt historian got a lucky treat when archaeologists decided to open a box found in the tomb of Tutankhamun for the first time on camera. I think that's this lady right here. The Valley of the King. The Valley of the Kings actually is located in the West Nile, uh, West Bank of the Nile, opposite Luxor, and is known to contain 63 tombs, including Ramses II and III and Pharaoh Seti. The most famous of the bunch, though, is KB-62, which is the young Pharaoh Tutankhamun's uh, tomb, uh, which a lot of people will say is fake, that uh, Howard Carter, Carter put stuff in there, that it actually may not have been King Tut's tomb, that it may have been uh, someone else, uh, perhaps a woman. And uh, there's still controversy. The tomb was packed with fortunes, and it uh, took more than 80 years to empty to this day of the tomb and Carter's uh, meticulous recording technique. Eight years. I can't read today. Eighty years. Uh, currently, archaeologists have been sorting through the thousands of items to prepare them for an exhibit in Cairo. Basically, you know, for the tour so we can make money. Historian Bethany Hughes uh, tried her luck during the filming of her Channel 5 show Egypt's Greatest Treasures, and it paid off. She said last uh, month, one of the items in Carter's original photographs was the enigmatic, 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 oh my gosh, enigmatic box it's not enigma you dork um well we know this uh, treasure didn't belong to uh, but we know we now know this treasure didn't belong to the pharaohs this is i think uh, perhaps fueling speculation that that was fake uh so here they're taking the top so so did they find uh jar jar abram's uh plot devices in there did they uh, finally can we can we know how lost ended um what he meant to do with the force awakens and all this other stuff you know, he is the big mystery box man. We know that it belonged, okay, it belonged to, okay, to his wife and only artifact of hers that existed. It looks like it's, uh, it's a hundred years old or 10 years old. What? It's like thousands of years old, but it looks like a, a linen, linen uh, chest. Uh, could we open it? This is a box that has been, uh, never been filmed before or opened. And the doctor just offered to open it for us. Okay. So it's been opened before, but just not on camera. Is that what we're getting at here? So there's where the box was located inside the tomb. Uh, however, the pair did not quite get uh, the find that they were hoping for inside, saying the box is empty. But you can smell it, though, can't you? You can smell the wood and the resin. It's empty, but you can smell the history coming out of it. What, like a, a cedar box? <laughs> so wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's the most remarkable thing, and it's tantalizing uh, us with its secrets. So, yeah, you can smell there. She's smelling it. It's not telling us... Uh, is not letting us know why it's, it was put in the tomb, but I like that. Uh, Dr. Hughes went on to inform viewers that... Uh, so, well, if it is fake and Carter did make it, then maybe that's why it only looks 100 years old. Just thought of that. Um, the greatest and most famous treasure of, of of all wasn't discovered until 1925, three years after Carter first entered the tomb of Tukang and He removed the lid from Tut's third and final coffin. Carter came face-to-face -face with something truly extraordinary. And that today takes pride... Uh, takes pride of place in Carver's. This is really oddly written. I guess that's the death mask. Um, yep, the death mask. So I'm not going to try and read it more. Um, Carter poked a, a hole in the tomb. Lord Car Carnarvo Car Carnarvon asked if he could see anything. And Carter famously said, yes, wonderful things. So uh, we'll see. Um, so there you go. Valley of the Kings. Real side of 62 ancient pharaohs i think there might be more in there because there's still a lot of rubble there's still you know part of with kv62 was like they just thought it was a rubble pile and they moved stuff around there. i think there's also caches where they hit other stuff in there uh and some of it it's you know temporary where they were storing things and, and stuff like that five months after Indian tomb car uh lord canarvan 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 uh h56 was dead um all the lights went out in Cairo. I have a strange activity not stuff there. American millionaire George J. Gould died soon after visiting the tomb. This was the, the curse of the, the curse of the mummy. Um, and okay, total twenty two people who had involved in the discovery of Tukama's tomb had prema had died prematurely within seven years. Uh, only two of the original excavators were still alive. 
So, but uh, there's also died of natural causes in 1949. Okay, so who knows? May it's may it's may it's uh, nothing to it. Maybe they were exposed to bacteria and other things. An empty box <laughs> makes a de headlines. Wow. Um, yeah, it's a, a wooden box that smells of wood. How exciting! Yes, yes, I, I agree, Twibbler. That is right. I think this is this is this is too funny. This is what's in JJ's mystery box. You know, he he puts that box up of of you know magical uh, things that he bought. You know, the um, mystery box of whatever he talks about the mystery box. And this this is actually very apropos because that this is his empty his his head is is empty, and so is his mystery box. Um. But it is interesting that the box would be empty uh, or was it emptied by robbers of some other sort. I think they knew it was empty, but they just never did it on camera. But, hey, you know, uh, where is, um, you know, Hawass is not mentioned in this, I don't think. But, um, you know, the Egyptian Antiquities uh, League, whatever, the department, they are not above some showmanship. And uh, it does make people wonder so i wonder if there's any other pictures okay so there's howard carter finding the tomb or the the coffin and where things are so you know the giza's way up here the great sphinx and then the river and I, of course now river keeps going and valley because this was in in those later kingdom times this was that place to bury if i remember correctly there is a uh formation right above the valley of the kings that kind of looks like a pyramid and that's in part why it was chosen so there you go an empty box is what jar jar abrams has so there's the box is empty but it smells of wood imagine that so there you go so much for mystery uh i guess the mystery is why is it empty and not what's in it all right or maybe what was in it all right thanks for stopping by this uh, you know brain muffins take on science archaeology pop culture and making fun of jar jar abrams thank you very much thanks so much for subscribing thank you everybody for all the great comments and we will see you goodbye what are, wait a minute what are, what are we calling this is this pop culture science yeah okay uh is this gonna work that that capture set yes it will <laughs> okay here we go three two one